Greetings from Snake Mountain Boatworks on Tuesday, February 18, 2020. We've pulled the engine out of the 1956 Chris Craft 19 foot Capri. Uh, that was an inter interesting exercise that uh, Anthony and, and Joe executed. The only way you could get the engine out was to take the port exhaust manifold off the engine, otherwise it would not fit through the hole available to it. Uh, we've got to have it all together when we put it back in, so we'll face uh, some interesting challenges at that time. But I'm going to hand it over to Chow in a minute, but before I do, uh, several of you asked if I could sh show you a build that was really greasy and oil, oily. You got it, here it is. This engine's been leaking oil into the, this planking for a long, long time. Uh, we're not excited at the prospect of flipping it over and stripping the bottom. Uh, I, I'm virtually certain that we'll find planking that's so oil soaked that it won't hold paint any longer. But there are a number of other issues that uh, Anthony discovered in this process. Uh, I'll just hand it over to you, Anthony, and you can walk us through what you've discovered. Well, when I uh, went to unhook the wiring from the motor, uh, there was probably five to ten wires that weren't hooked to anything, weren't labeled, were just dangling. Uh, another was the electric fuel pump, uh, the wires to it, or from it, to power, uh, were hooked into the coil pack, which it wasn't hooked very well. I, it just, it was one of the um, wire, I don't think I have it here, but the one of the... Oh, well, the plug-in yeah, wire connectors? Yeah, the one of the, or no, the add-on ones where it okay. clamps onto another wire and then it creates a few or a connection there um, and I didn't even unclip it I just grabbed it and it fell right apart um, this fuse box or fuse panel if you want to call it um, it all looks pretty old and some of these wires look partially melted on this and uh, a bunch of them don't go anywhere don't yeah, attach to anything right? yeah there's uh, like I said, oh, here's the that connector I was talking about. Um, yeah, a lot of the wires didn't didn't go anywhere. Were just unhooked, dangling. Um, and running an electric fuel pump off a coil is uh, new to us. Uh, maybe somebody out there can explain to us uh, why that's safe. It doesn't sound safe to me. Uh, uh, but evidently, this engine ran consistently with this setup. But the, uh, we see the wiring harness that's actually being used here, but then there are several other residual wi wiring harnesses uh, that, well, you see an example there. There's just a coil of wire. It runs all the way up under the dash. You'll see down in there, there's a red wire and a white wire. They don't attach to anything. Um, and then, Anthony, what did you find behind the dash panel? Uh, it was basically a bird's nest of just wires going from one gauge to another gauge to another for what I would assume for power, but there was probably uh, 20 or better um, pieces of wire kind of making a bird's nest of sorts and only at most 10 going to any particular piece of the uh, section of the motor. Yeah, so. I, I plead with everybody, there's nothing wrong with swapping out gauges and all that if that's your goal, but please take the old wiring out. If you're not going to use it, strip it out. Uh, somebody comes afterwards and has to somehow figure out <laughs> what, if anything, has come loose, what goes where. Uh, you really run a chance of shorting, producing a dead short, that's very difficult to find. Um, 
The fact that we found all this oil in the bilge and it runs way up almost to the helm station this way, so there's been a lot of oil down here. As a result, we will be removing the helm station seat back completely, the, uh, the seat bases that you see right there must all come out. We need to open this boat up because in order to clean this before we flip it over, even to just scrape it, uh, we're going to have a lot of water in here, a lot of degreaser, and we don't want to get that on the upholstery. Um, we'll try to sort out the wiring up behind the gauge panel and this back here, but I suspect that the safest thing to do is um, if it doesn't have a, a well-identified home, any piece of wire that's just hanging loose, uh, we need to chase down with uh, continuity testers and make sure it's not attached to anything. Um, what I see in the back doesn't look terrible, but we haven't been able to get in there yet. Uh, we will do so soon. So Anthony's next pleasurable task is to get the seating out of here. Um, and we will flip her over and start working on the bottom before we do anything else. And, well. We'll flip her over after we've got this bilge somewhat, somewhat cleaned up. Uh, all those white sheets you see are stinky uh, dryer sheets. Uh, we s liberally spread them in the bilges and in the cockpits of any boat we store over the winter. It, they do an amazing job of, of keeping rodents out of out of the boat, out of your upholstery, um, out of your wiring. So we'll keep working on her. That's our update for today on the 1956 19-foot Chris Craft Capri. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.